So now I'm going to show the other method for increasing the space in the pool, and that's to replace um, uh, the drives, the actual physical devices, rather than adding VDEVs. So what I'm going to do is to um, have to go back to here. Um, just to show that we've still got data here, by the way, there's the share. Um, just to show that you know everything's intact still. There's nothing been lost. So what I'm going to do is destroy this one, and I'm going to create a new array, new set pool. I'm going to create a RAID Z3 this time uh, called test. And it's going to constitute my files first of all. My disk files. So again, one of them is the wrong or not the wrong size, different size. I need to override that warning. Simple status. So you can see it's made up of the four files. Lit oh, set pool list shows that there's a total of 100, uh, 1 1.8 gig. DF-8 shows that we've got 350 megabytes free to use. Uh, so again, I'm going to create a data set on there to use. I've got the command again, and I'm going to make kernel text the owner of that data set. I'll go back here, and as much as I can do, copy some data onto that partition. So obviously the user share directory, I imagine it's going to be um, quite a lot bigger. But yes, it's 553 meg, df-h, well it's already down to 44 meg while we're copying. Um, I may be able to get away actually if I really wanted to do this by setting the compression on, but I'm not going to do that this time just to prove the point. So, first of all, the first thing I must do is to set the auto expand property on on the pool. So, set pool get auto expand for test. It's off. So, I want to turn it on. Just check it's been turned on. Yes, it is. What we're down to now? Oh, there's still 231 meg available I'll just let that copy a little bit more obviously again remember this is trying to write the data um, in uh, trying to write data to four files which are on the same disk subsystem, same physical disk actually. Um, so there's going to be a certain amount of contention because I imagine it's issuing commands to each of these files, um, if not simultaneously, simultaneously certainly um, nearly simultaneously in, in, in parallel. So the disk will be thrashing around quite a lot. So I'm going to try and get this as full as I can. I'd like to fill it up completely to prove that it's run out of space, but um, that might take some time the speed it's going at. It's going quite slow because of the fact they're files and they're on the same disk. Uh, let's do an IO stat. Just see how fast it's going. Yeah, it's not going too fast.
Okay, it's down to 72 meg. It's, it's getting there slowly. Oh, we've got 50 meg now, so it really will start slowing down soon as it fills up more. Let's just keep an eye on the IO stat, and when it starts dropping off, we know it's gonna. Oh, yeah, it's half the speed it was now. Right, while that's nearing the end, like I say, I would like it to fill up. I'm going to leave it to run. It will mean the next few operations might be running a little bit slow themselves because they'll be fighting against um, this, although they should speed up because what we're going to do is start replacing every single one of these um, devices in the VDEV one by one. Um, and every time we replace them, it will be with a real disk, so it will be... Um, writing data to a real disk rather than to on, on the disk so there'll be less data being written to the disk that these files are on so it should speed up uh, gradually so basically all we do is use the command Z pull replace again specify the pull name specify the device that we want to replace so root ZFS disk 1 I want to replace with SDB and press enter and if we do zeppel status you'll see it's replacing the um, data that's on the current file it's, it's copying it onto the actual disk and it's already done a third because there won't be much data on there obviously it's um, it's only a tiny file So it's 40 seconds to go. Let's see how this is going. And while this is um, happening, if I do Z pull list, again, you won't see the size of the pull change until the final device has been replaced. It, so even, even though we will have replaced three of these uh, devices with real disks of a larger capacity, it's not until the fourth one has finished resilvering that the new size is made available to us. So all this time um, we're going to be stuck with the smaller device. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm not sure if I can do it actually, is we've got 16 meg left. I wonder if I could actually do the replacements quicker than that copy command works. Uh, let's do status. Right, let's resilver the first one. So we've got the first disc. Let's see if I can quickly replace the next one with C. Imagine I'm going to run out of time here. Arguably, you could suspend the command, the copy command, if you had something running in the background. You needed this done as soon as possible without um, in interruption to your services. Um, you could halt them, take them down temporarily maybe, pause them, slow them down um, while the replacement went ahead. But bear in mind, if you're doing whole disks and if they're multi-terabyte disks, this could take hours, maybe even days, um, depending on the capacities you've got and how much actual allocated space there is. Right, that's still going. That started resilvering. Now, if I try to do the next one, I think this also fails because, as it did before, it can't do more than one at a time. Oh, not SDD. Oh, yes, that's right, SDD, yes. Right, disk names. So, let's see if this, this might actually come back after the other one's completed.
yeah it looks like in doing so it's it's completed the SDC copy it's now um, doing the STD and that's that's why there was that pause and like I said it seems to be getting a little bit quicker in what it's doing because it's got less to write to the um, basic uh, file um, all, all these disks were originally files it's got less to do yeah that's done so I can do the last one hopefully I can do it quick enough before that command finishes and as it finishes the um, the pull will be increased so it's still 330 meg it's replacing still there's only 14 meg free we've used 338 of the 352 And it's finished now, so if we do df minus h, you can see the drive has now, sorry, the pool has now jumped from 350 meg to 903 gigabytes. And you'll see this jump up past the original 352 to prove that it wouldn't have fitted and it will now fit on, on this new sized pool. So once again, Zeppel status shows the last command that was done, resilvered which was the SDE set pool list shows the total size available across all devices in, in the VDEV and DF shows how much actual user space we've got available which is 903 gig and you can see it's gone to 540 which is way above the original size of the pool that we had when the pool was set up as files um, and obviously you can see it's worked a lot faster. It did that last 150 meg or so extremely quick, quickly. And you can see the command's actually now finished because it hasn't got so much strain on the on the disk to slow it up. And there's the file. Um, and again, the contents of it. Uh, so if you think what we've done here, we've gone from four individual files on the on one disk to four separate disks we've completely replaced the whole of the devices in that VDEV. That VDEV is effectively a brand new VDEV although technically it's the same one because it's still VDEV zero. Uh, we've just replaced all the constituent devices so it's effectively a brand new one.